In this video, I will explain Euler method for finding numerical solution of first order ordinary differential equation. First of all, let me explain what we will do in numerical methods of finding solution of differential equations. You consider this example. Solve dy by dx is equal to y given that y0 equal to 1 and find y of 1. So you have learned a method for solving this one. That is we can separate variables here. So we can rewrite this equation in this form and then integrating we will get log y is equal to x plus c. And using this initial condition we can find value of the constant c and substituting this c here we will get the solution as y equal to e raised to x. Then if you want to find out y of 1, we can put x is equal to 1 here and we will get solution at x is equal to 1 as e. Actually this is the function for the solution that is y equal to e raised to x and at 0 value for y is given as 1 and then we got the solution and then with this curve we can find out solution at any value. So but in numerical methods we can obtain this value directly without finding this general solution or this one this particular solution. So without finding these two we can find the value of the solution at a given point. So in this module you have to learn three different methods for finding solution of first order initial value problems. That is problems of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y given that y of x naught is equal to y naught. So this is the initial condition. So it's a problem, differential equation problem with initial condition. Such problems are known as initial value problems. So you have to learn three methods uh, in this chapter. The first is Euler method and second one is improved Euler method and third one is Rangi Kutta method. In this video, I will be explaining Euler method. So actually in all these methods, we find numeric approximation for the solution at equidistant points on the x-axis. That is, if I am taking this as x naught, suppose x naught is 0 and then at x1 and at x2 and at x3, at all these points we can find out the solution. All these are equidistant points. Let the distance be h. Okay, so these are the x values with equal spacing h. So then at this x1 we can find out what is the value of the function. At x2 we can find out what is the value of function. At x3 we can find out what is the value of function. Like that it goes. So therefore these methods are step by step methods in which we will be using the same formula in each step. So therefore it involves lot of calculation. But with the help of computer, we can write program and we can evaluate all these values. So now I will be explaining this Euler method. So this is the problem and let y of x be the solution. So we can write down Taylor series expansion for this solution. That is y of x plus h is equal to y of x plus h into y dash x plus x square by 2 factorial into y double dash x plus etc. So this is the Taylor series. And now if h is very small, we can ignore the values of higher powers of h. So we can ignore values from here onwards so that we can write y of x plus h is equal to y of x plus h y dash x. And now y dash x is same as f of x y. So we can write y of x plus h is equal to y of x plus 
h into f of x y. So this, so in this formula, we can make some substitution. Now we can use some substitution. That is, if you are taking x as x naught, and then x plus h as x one. Okay, this is x naught, and x plus h as x x one. So we can write this as y of x one is equal to, and this is y of x that is y of x naught plus h into f of x naught y naught. So that means x one is x naught plus h. I have taken like that. So x one is very close to x one because x one is equal to x naught plus h. It is very close to x naught. So then. If you know the value of y at x naught, we can find out value of y at x one by using this formula, where x one is x naught plus h, or it is very close to x x naught. And similarly, you can find out y of x two. That is, if you are giving x is equal to x one, and then x one plus h will be x two. So you can write it as y of x one plus h of f of x1 y1 so that means if you know the value of y of x1 that is the solution at the point x1 we can find out solution at the point x is equal to x2 by using this formula so now we can generalize this formula so we can generalizing we can write this formula as y of x n plus 1 is equal to y of x n plus h into f of x n y n where n is equal to 0 1 2 etc so this is the formula which we will be using in euler methods and now we can use another notation here that is if i am taking y of x n plus 1 as y n plus 1 We can write this as y n plus one is equal to this one can be written as y n plus h into f of x n y n, where n is equal to zero, one, two, etc. So I'll be using this formula in solving problem. So these two are same. Okay, so you can use any of the form. So now here we can find out the value of y or solution at a given point. By using the value of y at value of x is equal to x n, that is, x n will be x n plus one minus h. That is the preceding point. So now I will demonstrate this Euler method by solving a problem. So I'll write the formula here. That is, y n plus one is equal to y n plus h into f of x n y n n is equal to zero one two etc. So this is the formula. So now suppose consider this question. You have to find y of zero point one if y dash is equal to y minus x by y plus x y of 0 equal to 1 taking h is equal to 0.02 suppose you have to find out y of 0.1 that is solution of this differential equation at the point x is equal to 0.1 and this is the differential equation okay so now this is the general theory Now we compare in these two. This is dy by dx. Here this is dy by dx. So then f of x y is equal to y minus x y y plus x. And now this x naught that is zero, and now y naught is one. So I'll write all these values now. That is f of x y is this function. X naught is zero, and y naught is one. So given that f of x y is equal to y minus x by y plus x, and x naught is equal to zero, 
y0 is equal to 1 then it is given h is equal to 0 0.02. So now if you are using this formula for the first time you will get value of y at the next point that is when x1 is equal to x0 plus h and here x1 is x0 is 0 and h is 0 0.02. So you will get in the first step you will get value of y at 0 0.02 and in the next step x2 will find out x2 that will be equal to x1 plus h that is x1 is 0 0.02 h is also 0 0.02 so you will get it as 0 0.04 and like that it goes x3 is equal to x2 plus h that is equal to 0 0.06 and now x4 is equal to you are supposed to find out value at the point 0 0.1 so till you get 0 0.1 you have to find out the values of x x4 is equal to x3 plus h that is equal to 0 0.08 and x5 is equal to x4 plus h that is equal to 0.1. So then you will get the value of y at 0 0.1 at this step. So then first of all you find out x1. Now you find out y of x1. y of x1 is same as y1. So I will prepare a table like this. So this, these are all values of x and these are all values of y n plus 1 we will be using this formula so now y1 we will evaluate y1 first y1 is y0 plus i okay, will write the formula put n is equal to 0 y0 plus h into f of x0 y0 this is equal to y0 is 1 plus h is 0 0.02 now f of x0 y0 this is f of x y, y minus x by y plus x. Therefore, f of x naught y naught is equal to y naught minus x naught by y naught plus x naught. This is 1 minus 0 by 1 plus 0. So, 1 minus 0 by 1 plus 0. So, then we will get this as 1.02. So, we got y1 that is y at x1. Next we will evaluate y2. y2 is y at x2 that is y at 0 0.04. We will use the same formula with n is equal to 1. So then 1 plus 1 that is 2 y2. Therefore y2 is equal to y1 plus h into f of x1 y1. Now this is equal to y1 is this value 1.02 plus h is 0 0.02 into f of x1 y1 this is fx y here you put x is equal to x1 and put y equal to y1 this is x1 and this is y1 now substitute these two values here so 1.02 minus x1 is 0 0.02 divided by 1.02 plus 0 0.02 now this is equal to you will get this as 1.02 0392. So we got only value of y of y at 0 0.04. But the question is to find out y at 0 0.1. So you have to reach up to here. Next you find out y3, the same formula. So y3 will be equal to y2 plus h into f of x1 y1. So y2 plus h into f of x1 y1. So then substitute this y2 and substitute this x2 here and you will get this as 1.0577 and now y4 will be equal to y3 plus h into f of x3 y3. Substitute x3 and y3 you will get this as 1.0756 and then y5 using the same formula you will get 1.0928. So this is the value of y of 0 0.1. So therefore we got the final answer that is y of 0 0.1.
is equal to 1.0928. Now to summarize, Euler method is a step-by-step -step method for evaluating numeric solution of a first order ordinary differential equation by using the initial condition. So to get the more approximate value, you have to choose h as very small as possible. So usually if you are taking h is equal to 0 0.02 or 0 0.1, that will be enough in our class problems. Okay, thank you.